So guys, what is up and welcome back to another 7 Days to Die video. Last we left off, we began exploring a little bit more of the down. And what we have found was not a whole lot, but uh, we will continue to look, we will continue to see what we can't find. And uh, we will take things from there, then we will hopefully make a trip home pretty soon so we can get our metal tools going. Because uh, that's a thing, given the... Uh, actions that occurred over the last video, if you guys might be a little bit out of the loop, uh, what I'm referring to is the fact that uh, we got all the materials for a forge and we are going to be crafting up a forge very, very soon. Now, I'm just trying to check out the map, see if I can't find out what's going on here. There's like a weird little like edge there. I don't know if this is like still technically town territory here, but... Uh, it appears that it might be. It's just kind of like vacant or something. I don't know. I wanted to look around. Apparently, I am overheating, so I do want to try and make my way back to a uh, the pool that was down there. Someone said the pool is really good for cooling down, and I like not being hot because uh, we live in... A, this game takes place in Nevada, to my knowledge. At least last I checked, it was in Nevada. And uh, Nevada is hot as tits. So, yeah. Also, we're going to want to make sure to pick up a lot of goldenrod. Because uh, with the huge amount of bottled murky water we got going. Oh, speaking of that, how much wood we got? We still got like 800, so okay. Okay. Uh, we might want to get some more, though. Maybe the next day we'll spend getting wood or something along those lines. To make sure we got the fortifications for when the 7-day horde comes. I'm um, hoping that we can also get some good weaponry for when that horde comes. But if our fortifications are good, I think we'll survive. Uh, some of you guys in the comments have been saying that apparently they will literally come and poop down my throat by breaking down the house. I'm going to hope that that's not a thing and that I'm like lucky and like got a good house. But I mean, either way, that could be disastrous, but it also could be hilarious. I mean, worst case, all that happens is we die. <laughs> like, come on, man. That's not a big deal, right? I mean, like, you know, it's just just death. I mean, come on. Come on, what's so bad about death? If I'm, I swear I'm actually being sarcastic. Ooh, repair kit. Yo, we're gonna repair that knife. That's what we're gonna do. Unfortunately, I don't think the knife's still on us, but I kind of do want to use that weapon repair kit to repair the knife. 110. Uh, we found a little cliff edge here, so that's interesting. I just wanted to go to the edge of this and kind of figure out what's been going, what, or like what's up over on this side and everything. And it appears that there's like a gradually increasing cliff edge, and we're getting quite hot. We might even be overheating, so that's no good. Uh, what is a good solution to this is if we can hop into a pool. Also, it does appear that there are a lot of zombies. We are really getting slower and slower from this overheating. So this is really bad. Look at how slow we're moving. This I'm sprinting right now, guys. This is This is not good news bears. So I don't know. I don't know what exactly overheating does, but it does appear that at the very least it uh, screws up our ability to run and how quick we are quite quite badly so okay important question here how long will this take should not take too long we will break into here uh, I think we're hidden yes we are somehow hidden we're gonna break into here our we're not doing the most damage here because our stamina is absolutely draining due to the heat but we do want to cool down and once we are cool oh look at that the pool Yes, I just need to get over there. I can barely even sprint at this point from how hot it is. Or if that might just be me being stupid, I don't know, but... There we go, I'm wet. That should, uh, there we go. Our heat is dropping quite considerably. I hope we are not drowning. Find rest, find water, or shelter. And, uh, here we go. We are, oh, there's... There's the airdrop that doesn't appear to be too far away. And honestly, we have a recurring theme of hitting up the airdrop, so... I say we continue that. First things first, we're going to cool down as much as possible. Uh, the vitamins, what do these two? Some wellness, the cure dysentery, so I don't want to do that quite yet. Um, we still got some of those. We got the bottle of water. Don't want to drink of that unless absolutely necessary. And right now, I don't think it's too necessary. Eh, it might be necessary soon. So we might need to drink just some normal old water. We don't have it. Actually, we got one beer. We'll drink up the beer first. Uh, does beer give us hydration at all? Actually, no, it doesn't, but... We're about to be running like hell anyway, so I don't think it matters. We're also going to be drying off shortly, but uh, let's drink on up. We'll be collecting all of this. Yeah, that's so useful. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, I saw it was this way. Problem here, it appears that it's only, it only like pops up on the mini-map when it's like directly in your line of sight. But I did see it was, in general, this direction. We'll go for a little while and hopefully come across it. 
Uh, I, I'm hoping it's not just another med crate. I would love like a weapon crate, some weapon parts, even like an intact pistol. I'd take a pistol, man. I'd take anything. Just uh, some, some kind of a weapon would be absolutely awesome in our case. Currently, we are not yet seeing it on the mini-map. Again, hopefully that does change. This is quite the steep cliff, by the way. I'm hoping we're actually going to be able to, like, climb up this. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm hopeful, but at the same time, I'm reluctant. I, I think we will be able to scale it. Jesus Christ, look at that. Down the valley. Oh, no. Did we hit a... Okay, we got to, like, kind of climb diagonal and then keep on heading west or so. And there's another road here. Looking around... I think it, there it is. Awesome. We did find it. Thank you, mini map. You are bay. Seriously. Oh, and we got some charcoal down there. Kinda. If we aren't detected, let's hit this up. Try to get us a little bit more. We haven't found too many charcoal deposits. I think we got a good amount at home, but still, I mean, if we run across it and it's a reason to use our axe, so I'm always down for a reason to use one of those. Because then we can always craft up a new one while making max use of our materials. And that should be the maximum amount there. Here we got what we're looking for. We're beginning to overheat ever so slowly. Uh, I do want to make sure we stay undetected. I just don't want that thing to show up. Because I think if we open the crate and then close it, uh, I think all the stuff falls out. It does appear to be another supply crate. However, it's uh, filled with some different things this time around. So we've learned how to make that. That's a pretty big thing. Uh, what is this? The rocket launcher schematic. Okay, so I'm just going to read that right off the bat. Uh, we will be taking the first aid kit that does not stack, unfortunately. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna drop the wood frame since we don't really need that. We got plenty more antibiotics. We will be taking the painkillers. Those should stack somewhere. Yes, they do. And then the sniper rifle parts are gonna be pretty nice. And, uh, another beaker. I mean, can we scrap a beaker? No. And we have so many beakers, I don't really know if that's worth it, but, uh, I suppose I'll take that. And we do have a filled up inventory. Let's make our way back home. We're going to be running back just straight towards the bed, to be honest. Uh, we'll maybe see if, like, we can see in the immediate vicinity if this road here leads to anything. Because I might be out. The cactus. Cactus and pain. That's what it leads to. Okay. Don't follow the little side roads off the main street, kids. It just leads to cacti and pain. That's kind of just, like, generic. That, that every side road leads to cacti and pain. Seriously. Like, if you don't believe me, just take a side road. Get some prickles stuck in your foot, and then you'll be a believer. But, we are heading on back. It does appear that the beer is worn off. I uh, really want to get back before we got to drink up any more. I would like to make as much goldenrod as possible, so I would love to not fall. Let's scale this very carefully. L would love to make some more goldenrod to continue up in our wellness. We broke 100 on the wellness scale, which is a big accomplishment for us, especially because we lost some from our zombie encounters. So that was... Really big, really big little achievement for us, and I'm hoping we can hit 110 before the zombie horde comes. We do have some food to supplement that, and I'm hoping the goldenrod tea will also serve as quite the large supplement. So that is the game plan. Uh, we will also take inventory and kind of take a peek at the rest of the map. We'll craft up the forge, get some of the stuff going, and hopefully get that pickaxe in time. And once we have that pickaxe, we can go check out the bunker and also the safe in the back of the store. Now, the safe, from what people have been saying, is where the real goods are at. So that's what I'm personally the most excited for. And the other awesome news is that our side of town is relatively zombie-free when we left it. So that is just great. We don't really have to worry about anything. I mean, I feel like it's going to start raining zombie dogs as soon as I say that. But I think I am about right. Our food is still doing really well. It is at 75%. I actually don't know how it is that high. Uh, let's disable sprint. I don't really want to sprint this entire time. Uh, I'll also just chop down this tree. I don't really, I don't really care. I'll just get a little bit of wood here and uh, probably craft up another axe as soon as this one breaks, just so we can make max use of it. And uh, actually, no, no, we'll do that if we have extra time. For now, I want to use our time super efficiently, get this forge going, and if all goes well, did did the door transform again? Is it completely different? Oh, okay, so. There's some sort of a glitch. It's probably with the door frame. There's, it's not even worth doing anything. But at least it's unlocked. That's If we come back one day and it's a locked door, that's when you know we really got screwed. Okay, so now... I believe we can craft up the one, the only, the forge. That will take us 50 seconds, unfortunately. We got the honey. We can do that for some wellness, fullness, and stamina. Uh, might as well eat it. I mean, yeah, sure. It's not... I really think... 
don't think we get anything too big out of it, but we don't get anything. Like, we don't not get anything from it. Uh, we will be able to make a huge amount of boiled water here, right? Uh, yeah, 39 to be exact. All we gotta do is get some fuel on the fire. It's gonna take us 12 minutes, so let's make sure we get plenty of wood on this fire. 12 minutes worth to be exact, and then we'll begin turning this all into goldenrod tea for us. Actually, before I do start this, I kind of want to craft up the goldenrod tea first. I'm going to do that, right? Now we're going to go to the goldenrod, max craft the goldenrod, which is like two. Cook up two of the goldenrod, and then we'll go to the bottled water and max cook that. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Our mis miscellaneous crafting is now level four because our forge has been completed. And that means we can throw this down and hopefully we got enough scrap here to create what must be created. So, let's cross our fingers we can do it, lads. We got this. We can make some scrap building resources, ammo weapons. No, how do I make scrap then? I don't I don't really see how that's a possibility. We have different tools there. Uh how do I okay, interact with that? I don't really Okay, so I don't see how we make scrap. Do we? Is there a blueprint we have to learn to make that? Because what I want to make is not lead. I want to make iron, right? Core resource for crafting. Iron. You need five. We have zero. Okay, so that's weird. I don't really know where we put... Maybe. Oh, do we have to put uh, the iron in there? Is that what we do? Do we smelt it down into scrap? Uh, that might be it. I re oh, I hear zombies. I really hope I don't mess this up, though. If so, that could be pretty bad for us. So we will get a little bit in there and hopefully make what wants to be made. Yeah, uh, I'm hoping. I'm forged iron. No, forged iron. That's what I want. Oh, we need clay, too. Okay. I did not know that we needed clay, apparently. Um, can I not craft? What the hell? Need ta- what? Why isn't this working? Do we need an anvil or something, or? At the forge and be used to craft- I don't- I'm really confused as to why this isn't working. Do we have to turn it on first, or? Okay, uh, no. Okay, so we gotta make iron first. I guess. I don't know. Okay, no, now I can make forged iron, apparently. I am so confused right now, man. Honestly, but let's start crafting up as much forged iron as possible. I don't... No, I think... Oh! Oh, that's what's happening. So slowly, the iron smelted into the for... Okay. Okay, so we gotta wait on that, and then the iron's gonna slowly be smelted into the forge. And as it's smelted, we'll be able to make forged iron. That kind of makes sense. It's kind of confusing. And it might... Okay, so what you have to do is you have to put the stuff in the smelting area. And then that stuff gets broken down and it's kind of remembered as being in this place. It's kind of remembered as... It has like a value in the forge. And then that value goes towards crafting. Okay. Okay, that makes a little bit more sense. And also I'm going to make sure to add a little bit more fuel here. Make sure that keeps going. Uh, for some reason it didn't want to stack, but... Get some of that. We want to make some forged iron. So we have just enough to make that pickaxe. If we can make the pickaxe and go out for a quick adventure before nighttime hits, I will be ecstatic. I think we can do it. We can do it. Yes. Boys and girls, welcome to the next tier of our operation. The iron tier. I am. Woo. I am ecstatic about this. This is going to be nice. We'll probably make the iron fire axe next. But for now, we got that. That's going to take us a little while. Uh, so in the meantime... Oh, we're getting quite thirsty. So let's... Let us... Let us... Grab the golden rod. We'll begin sipping on that a little. Get our thirst all the way up. We're overheating quite a bit. I don't know if that's from the campfire or from what. Either way, we will be heading out here in a sec. Don't you sweat it, game. And uh, I think what we can do here is just wh while this is going on, let's just max do the goldenrod, right? Just have that happening. There we go. Let's see. It's going to take us a couple extra minutes. So in the meantime, I will put on some extra wood. Just keep that going. 
And the pickaxe is done. It's only 27, but still, we have a functioning pickaxe. And this is gonna be hella exciting. We got a couple hours here before nighttime hits, so let's make maximum use of this. We're not gonna get to the bunker in time, and even if we did, I would not want to spend the night at the bunker. That just seems sketch as all hell. So instead, I want to take the map right, and I think the gun store is that. So we want to get over there. It should be pretty quick to do, and just break in. Not even break in, we're, we've already broken in. We just want to kind of head back into there. Make sure there aren't any zombies killing us. Make sure to continue picking up Goldenrod. And this is our beloved Shotgun Messiah, and oh, we got some zombies that way. Let's be very cautious. Let's not grab their attention. Have we got on the roof of this place yet? Uh, maybe we'll do that after we grab our stuff, but... Oh, haven't sure searched the dumpster either. And look at that! We got lead fishing weights, see? We wouldn't have that otherwise. 10 out of 10 would search again. Now... For my friend, the safe. We got the best tools for this. You just gotta unlock it using brute force. Our pickaxe does about 28 damage per hit, so... Someone said this is faster. You are right, this is going to be faster. And then using something like the stone axe, and we're already about 20% of the way there, so if anything, it's just gonna take a little bit of time. Let's make sure that we get our stamina all the way back up. I think our stamina will come in quite handy here to have that at the maximum amount. And let's make sure to keep an eye on. Also, hold up. Do we have a shirt at all? I think we can put on a nicer shirt, right? We got this. Does that give us any... Um, I, I don't know if this is nicer. But... That gives us a little bit of light armor. But that shirt was way more durability, so I'm going to stick with that. We got a higher durability reinforced club. Actually, hold up. Can we just repair this thing flat out? Do I not have the repair book? Or... Required materials. Okay. What, what do I need for it? Oh, do I put the iron? No. Wait. What? I don't know. Okay. Never mind. Let's continue breaking into this. Our mining tools is actually leveling up as we do this as well. So that is a nice bonus. We do about 38, 36. I don't want to think too much about math, but 28, 26. I don't know. We'll, we'll say an even 30 per. We've already gotten like a thousand of the health away. Make sure to go back and forth. And uh, it, we are going to be cutting it a little bit close, but if we stay dedicated to this, we will easily be able to get home before the nighttime hits, and that's kind of the big thing I'm wanting to do. So we're going to have like an hour here to run back. Yeah, we're going to have an hour to run back. This should be done. Already down to a thousand. This should be done by the top of the hour. So that'll be 21. And then we're going to book it the hell back home and uh, make sure to kind of hide out there. Recharge our stamina just a little bit. I want to be quite cautious with that. We should have dropped off some stuff, but hopefully there isn't too much here for us to bring back home. And if there is, I mean, that's a good problem to have, worst case scenario. So that too much loot, that's a good problem when the loot's good at least. So I can't complain. We're already down to the last 20% of it, last 500 health. Now it's down to 200. Uh, this pickaxe, already half of it's gone down the drain, but I mean, you know, necessary sacrifices here. It doesn't help that our stamina's falling down a lot, but... I don't care, I just want to get this done with. Two more hits. And we are in, boys and girls, and we got- Oh, Okay, that's just a schematic, and you might think that that's overrated. No, we just got- Oh, don't scrap it. I was about to scrap that on accident. Yes. Okay, so you guys- Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, so the Zambi here is- uh, Okay, you know what? We're gonna book it the hell out of Dodge and make our way back home. This is not the way towards- That's the way towards home. Yeah, so- it's just a schematic, and it was just one item. The thing is, that is the highest tier item for repairs and building. I think it is a one-hit automatic, like, next tier. I don't know. It is the best of its class, though. So, it could have been better. could have been better loot. I was excited for a gun or something, but... I mean, st not st okay, not statistics-wise, but... For stuff like reinforcing our house and everything, that claw hammer is going to be insanely clutch. That is, that is that's a good haul. That's a good haul. And we leveled up. We got six more skill points. Uh, I'm not going to repair that because that just automatically undoes itself. So I might actually break that down and make a new one. I don't know. Uh, out of curiosity, how much durability? 250. Mm. I kind of do want to get a new one then. Whereas like that one, oh, that one only has 300. Okay, never mind. Our doors are not as durable as I once thought they were. Uh, so... 
yeah, we are running out of, not time, but we're running, running out of days to maneuver with. And uh, the nighttime has struck. I feel warm by the fire. I don't really want to feel warm, though. And uh, here we got the maximum. Or we got a bunch of stuff in there. Yeah, so we should be able to max craft this once we get some fire on there. There we go. Turn that on. Voila. And we should be able to max craft. I derped out. There we go. I had to pit up. That's what I wanted to do. And get a bunch of forged iron out of this deal. Don't know what lumps of clay will do for us. We can also do normal iron. Don't know why we'd want to do that, but sure, I guess. And our scrap iron supply is going to hit over... Or not scrap iron, forged iron supply is going to hit over 10. We are still relatively safe in here. Very nice, very nice. And... How do you repair this damn thing? That's what I want to figure out. I don't know. I don't know if you can like repair them together. I don't know what these things do there. Okay, wait. Um, here's what I'm gonna try. Okay, can I do that? No. I'm okay. I was gonna try and repair it on top of that. Never mind. We're getting quite thirsty. Uh, is that goldenrod cooking yet? No, it's still just water. But there's six more water, so we're gonna try and outlast the thirst, so we can get some goldenrod in our system. Because we got quite a bit to go around. We will also go to maximize that again. Uh, I kind of want to cancel that to just do the golden. We'll cancel that and we'll do the bottled water at the end of the queue there. So we can just get a little bit of golden rod in us to continue our hydration. Let's step away from the fire. That's no good for us. We're really thirsty. But our food's still doing very well. That's I like that. Uh, it's getting hotter, so... Yeah, that kind of sucks. We do have an extra level to go with, though. So skills-wise, we got... It's only six points, and all perks are like ten. So we're going to save up. I'd rather use points on perks than anything else. Uh, we can learn how to craft stuff. Although that's more rounds than anything else, so I don't know if that's really worth it. Uh, Pummel Pete, what the hell is that? Blunt instruments do more? All right, that might be decent. What's fast, Addy? Scavenging. Gotta go up in that. Outlaw, miscellaneous crafting, minor 69er. Uh... I think I might just try to go up in another uh, level of quality Joe here. We do need to get to level 30 scavenging first, so we might not be doing that for a while. Maybe sexual Tyrannosaurus then. That's a title I want on my business card, but... Other than that, let's just toss some stuff. But actually, no, let's get... Let's, how about we get some of that golden rod so we don't die of thirst. Get some wellness back in us. Get some wellness back in that system. Get that hydration real nice and high. And let's go ahead and do a little bit of organizational work. Oh, we had an extra golden rod that would have been good to know. <laughs> wow, I am so stupid. Uh, right stick to quick move everything. We got more pistol parts, hunting rifle stock. Uh, we got the bottle water, which we will turn into something with these golden rod flowers. Convenient. Uh, vitamins will keep on us just in case of emergency dysentery. Dysentery, I always pronounce it weirdly. Uh, we got headlights, put that back, it'll stack, lead fishing weight, sure, we'll smelt it down eventually. Uh, we will put away the first aid kits, we got a lot of those. Uh, some sniper rifle parts, so that's really nice. Sniper rifle parts, we're eventually going to sniper rifle at this rate. Uh, we still got bacon and eggs to eat if we need. I don't know where my food, did we cook? Did we? Co oh no, it's right there, I'm just blind. Awesome, awesome. Uh, put the duct tape away, we'll put away the worst reinforced club, leave the feathers for arrow reasons, speaking of that, we probably want to recraft the bow, and I think we're doing pretty good inventory wise, so I am happy right now, hopefully you guys are happy as well, I do want to check out what the claw hammer will take, and I'll do that in just a second here, in the meantime, let's just get that back to max crafting, we got fuel for another two minutes, uh, we probably need a little bit more than that, so we will, Toss some more. Probably like five minutes or so will be good. And uh, yeah, other than that, I think that about does it for today's episode. Quite efficient. I do want to, before we end off though, before we end off, this would be quite nice. Also, I do want to continue smelting down that stuff. Oh, and here's another thing. Some a good point that you guys brought up that I completely forgot about. Uh, the fact that we are doing all this cooking in our house, this is going to attract attention towards us on the quote-unquote zombie heat map, where the more kind of like activity we do, so stuff like cooking around here, forging, it could spawn a mini horde. Now, the mini horde, I think it comes with uh, three like 
quote unquote callers like screamers which will scream for the rest of the horde to come so if we take them out before they get a chance to do that i think we'll be good something like that i don't know also another bow let's do that because this one it's kind of poopy and i'll probably forget by next episode can we craft up another bow or am i no we can okay good good we'll craft up one of these we'll make sure to get a bunch of arrows here uh we can make 30 of them let's go with a solid 25 get that crafting Make sure we're busy here with our crafting. And then maybe we'll do a little mining trip or so. But also, tools and traps wise, we got this claw hammer. Yes, if we get three forged iron, we could have it. Great for repairing and upgrading and uh, pretty solid as a weapon. So that's gonna be really good. I'm very excited we got that. And that's gonna be great for building up our base. Uh, Shamway Foods didn't have a safe in the back, right? Just kind of check in there. And then before we end off, how's the map looking? Have we explored all town or? Eh, we still got a little bit, a little bit there, a little bit there, so nothing too massive. And then it appears that these two roads will intersect kind of like down here. Maybe that will lead somewhere. Uh, oh, someone said I can actually move it. I'm just a derp. Thank you for pointing it out in the upper left-hand corner. It literally has controls. Completely derped out. Also, I just realized, if I just went straight west from the start, we would not have wasted a bunch of time on the mini dirt detour tour. <laughs> so that would have been a lot better. Fun fact there. But uh, yeah, other than that, I think that about does it for us. We're going to continue cooking and stuff next day. Man, I actually do not know what we want, I want to do. If I Check out the bunker. That's the one thing I can think of. And other than that, probably just get a bunch of raw resources, make a bunch of traps, and hope we are ready for the awful day that will come tomorrow or on day seven. Day seven nights, I think. It comes at night. So... If you guys any, got any tips, anything I could do, anything like that, I would very much so appreciate it in the comment section down below. And along with that, if you guys liked the video, hit that like button, let me know. And other than that, that is going to go ahead and do it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching the video as always, and hopefully, I'll see you next time.